what's going on guys it's gbp baby welcome back to another video i hope everybody's doing well and yeah you can see i've cleared my charts purely because um wednesday was a bit consolidated just as we anticipated not much not much price action and then moving into thursday we do have some more high impact news so you can see the weekly is looking pretty ugly right now if you remember i do i did state i wanted to see a down down close week that is still very relevant excuse me that is still very relevant so i'm not really too concerned about that let's go to the daily and looking at the daily i do believe that um, monday uh, tuesday and wednesday have been manipulation as in i do believe they're sending price higher to then send it lower on the back of news tomorrow on thursday so with that taken into account i am now going to be looking at these daily lows on wednesday and tuesday as potential south side targets let's get those delineated with a potential reach for monday's low and then another thing I wanted to draw our attention to is the fact that we've traded into a inversion fair value gap. So why is this an inversion fair value gap? If we look at this gap, so between this candle's low and this candle's open, there's a gap there, right? And there's only upside delivery. So I've dragged that right through, dragged that right through, and you'll see that we've now closed below it. So as price has, as price has traded back into it, I'm now expecting it to help provide resistance to send us lower. So I do want to, I do expect this to hold up moving into thursday as in to help provide resistance however there is a breaker block here so we have a high a low a higher high meaning that the very very highest i'd be happy for price to go would be here ideally it doesn't get up here and the reason for that is just because it shows more bearishness and it'll be easier to short dollar with longs on the pairs but my point being the fact that we've you know traded into it and came off of it like this i'd expect it to act the same way moving in into tomorrow basically so let's now go to the four hour take a better look at price and what you'll find is that we have a very high resistance delivery to the upside on the downside very low resistance why one two three four candles easy sweep down to the downside however on the upside it's taken one two three four five six seven eight nine. like you can see it's having a very high resistance um, struggle to get up there which is completely fine but it's also indicative of bearish price action because we're seeing low resistance on the downside and high resistance on the upside and that's just that that helps tell us about the conditions of the market another reason that price may want to reach up into this breaker low is because although it's taken out this high price tends to do this pattern before it turns in the market i'll show you i've, I've done this numerous times but price will tend to make a um hit a level pull back hit it one more time and then trade on lower so we need to apply that logic right here so we need to look at this high as this high being ran so a significant high and then there's potential and i say potential because we don't know but there's potential for price to run it one more time and then trade on lower so that's why i'm allowing this space and this um, breaker low to be traded to as a potential target however generally speaking i'm looking for a down close day and a down close week so that's why i'm um, focusing on tuesday lows um, Wednesday and Tuesday's lows as targets on the downside. Let's go to the one hour and you'll see how we're just in a little consolidation. And like I said, it's looking to me like price will probably wander on higher. And like I said, that's completely fine. However, I'm expecting a reaction at this breaker level, which is also the 50% level of a four hour gap right here between this low and there. If we drag that out, and that's pretty much 50%, isn't it? So again, consequent encroachments, very significant. Any higher than this, I'd be very suspicious and probably stay far away from the charts. Um, but generally speaking, if we respect this and we trade into it, say at 8.30, on the back of news, I'd expect us to trade off of it on PPI to trade lower off of it. So I'd like to think that that can either form. Um, so, or the other option would be that this high is made in say London session, and then we see lower price action for the rest of the day. So how it delivers is just a matter of waiting. But generally speaking, we now have a range as to where we expect price to reach on the premium and then the lows that we're expecting to get targeted. I don't expect us to just run straight lower. I, I, I'm expecting a level of manipulation and I would want to see that happen in the morning ideally or right before 8.30 news. So that's how I'm looking at dollar. Um, it is quite difficult reading in times like this and obviously seeing upwards price action um, pretty much Monday through Wednesday is very manipulative, but we know price action and you know they'll create the high on the, they will manipulate at the beginning of the week to then expand later in the week which is why we shouldn't be f fooled by this and we just need to be wary that there is very high potential for our thursday reversal and if it's going to happen it needs to be off the back of something and like i said obviously we have this inversion fair value gap which we're just you know meandering around right now however 
there's a clear break right here that would help send price lower as well. So that's just, you know, food for thought. Let's head on to GBP USD. Now, GBP, as you know, if you've been watching my videos this week, has been stressing me out just because it's just disgusting. Anyway, if we're expecting, you know, us to trade up into some kind of premium before trading lower, we need to look at GBP to find some kind of low to trade into before trading higher. So where could it reach for? Well, the daily is not giving us anything, um, anything particularly useful, to be honest. There is a breaker, low, high, low, low. So this up close candle right here is technically a breaker. Let's get that drawn out. We'll look at the volume of that. So I'm happy for price to trade down into this and then come out of it because it's the last up close candle before the down move that caused this very large expansion. So if it acts as a breaker correctly, we should be safe to trade into this range. Another thing to take note of is an implied fair value gap. These are very different. This was taught like once by ICT and I can talk more on this in another video, but generally speaking, there's an implied fair value gap down there. And on the four hour that we should be able to identify a fair value gap right here. So I'm happy for pound basically to trade lower, maybe create the low and then get a reversal off of that to trade on higher, assuming dollar does as we expect in terms of creating some kind of swing before trading on lower. So that's what I'm expecting on GBP. Um, let's go to the one hour and you can just see how heavily consolidated it is. But look at how clean these lows are. Low here, low here, low here. These are all relative equal lows. So I, I'm looking for this south side to get swept. And then after that and only after that would I want to see a potential reversal to trade on higher. But um, as I said, pound is really disgusting right now, guys, and I'm not really paying too much attention to it. Um, and also this lines up with this breaker as well. Low, high, lower, low, this last up close candle which is also in this range. So we may want to pay a little bit of attention to that. But, but um, yeah, it's all just a matter of waiting and seeing again, we might make that low say London session and then come off of it and then we might go long for the rest of the day or we might consolidate and then eight o'clock or 7.30, we get down there and then we get a reversal. We just need to wait and see. But generally speaking, if PPI is going to set, if PPI is going to send dollar lower, then GBP should be able to reverse at this point. Let's go to Euro to finish off. We're going to start on the daily here as well and same thing we need to look for some kind of discount that we some kind of discount pda that we can trade into um before potentially trading higher assuming dollar wants to do so so what can we look at well there is this reclaim bullish order block which we traded into twice now once on tuesday and wednesday as well i wouldn't be surprised if we dip down into there again moving into thursday before trading higher but let's go to the four hour and you can see we are quite bullish now one thing I do like with pa with Euro is that we're seeing continued support. So this low has stayed intact, this low has stayed intact, and this low has stayed intact. And you can see that we're starting to push higher as we start to end, um, move towards the Asia session, which is quite interesting. So there's some nice sponsorship going on in terms of ha seeing higher prices on Euro. And we need to keep this in mind as we want to, you know, as we trade. So let's go, let's take a look at this bullish order block. And we'll look at the midpoint, which is what we call mean threshold. And the reason I chose that one is because it's the largest one and it's the last significant swing low. So long as price stays above this, I'm happy to remain bullish on Euro with the expectation to then run for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday highs. So let's get those quickly delineated. Here's Wednesday's high. That's a very close target and will probably get taken pretty soon. But here's Tuesday's high. Now Monday high. Again, it depends how bullish, how bearish, sorry, dollar is, assuming dollar trades lower let's go to the one hour you can see we're running up towards that wednesday high already not a problem but nonetheless um i just want to see continued support on euro obviously we'll get some kind of retracement but you can see how the bullish order blocks are holding themselves as they're stacking higher and higher so we need to see continued support um but this is mu euro's much cleaner compared to do compared to pound right now which is why i've been trading euro however yeah, that's going to be everything. It's any lower than this, if we lose this 50% level I spoke about from the four hour, I don't really want to be involved and dollars probably not doing what we expect. But generally speaking, I'm expecting a nice expansion to the upside on euro, nice expansion to the downside on dollar. And then GBP, it would be nice to see if it can at least reverse because what, you know, pound's been moving mad. So that's going to be everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment, smash subscribe, join the mailing list, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.